This workout is designed for you if you want to add lean, tight definition to your inner thigh muscles. You don't need any equipment at all. This workout is part of my free eight minute week challenge. You can download from my website right now and come back and join me for this workout. We're going to get started on your mat. Legs nice and wide and hands are going to come down and brace just above your knees so that you're not putting pressure on your knees, but you're allowing your glutes to go back. And we're gonna start with just the tail wag of your glutes to open up your groin and prepare your inner thighs to work. Imagine making a smiley face with either side of your hip being the top part of the smiley face. So it's really impossible to target just your inner thighs, but this workout certainly puts more pressure and emphasis on the inner thighs, which is going to give you more stable knees and a more stable pelvis, which is important as an active woman, potentially a runner, somebody who likes to lift or just hike with your kids. And two and one. Legs wide again. One hand up. We're going to reach one, two, three, four, and then hands are going to come down on the ground just like Spider Man. I'm going to show you what to do. Arm up. One, two. Glute shooting back. Three, four. Hands with me on your mat. One, two, three, four. Right hand up. One, two, three, Four, hands down. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, hands down. This follows the pattern of mobilize, strengthen, stabilize, and lengthen that we're doing throughout this week challenge. Two, three, and four, hands down. Four, three, two, and one. On the buzzer, stand up. You're gonna shake that out. Now we're into the hard part. This is the Bernie session. We're going to strengthen. Legs out nice and wide. Toes are always in line with knees. I want you to lower down. One plie, and then we're gonna go up to five. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And here's your five. One, two, three. Four, five, and lower down the same ladder. Give me four, four, three, two, one. That's right. Three, two, one. Do a self check. Are your thighs coming parallel with your mat? And this is your one. Back up to two. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. We're gonna finish this five out. One, two. Three, four, five. One and a half side lunges. Toes are out at a little bit of an angle still. Hands are here at your waist. One, come a little ways up and back down. One, halfway up and all the way. So think of this one and a half. One and a half. Notice that the chest is a bit forward here. This is going to apply more pressure on your inner thighs versus making it quad dominant, which would be like this. If chest were up, more quad and glute dominant. Here is inner thigh dominant. One and a half. Strong back. I don't want to see any arching of the upper body. Plie pops. Legs out wide, just like the exercise we did previously. And we're going to come up to tiptoes at first. And then for you ladies who are advanced, come up to tiptoes. We'll be coming all the way up to an actual hop. Get ready for it. If you feel good here, stay here, but if you want to get advanced with me, let's go. Pop it up. 
So something that's been really convicting for me lately is a verse from Deuteronomy 11:19. It's about teaching your children. It says, you shall teach your children as you sit in your home, as you walk by the way, and when you lie down and when you rise, you should be always discussing biblical truths with your children. And church just isn't a Sunday affair. Lie down with me on your side. Think of that as the hardest part is over, okay? That's what I'm gonna tell you, but this part gets quite burning. Support your head with your hand. Leg is up and inner thigh pulses. Drawing your lower leg as high as you can. Imagine a string here and someone's pulling it up. I don't want you to cheat this exercise by leaning back at all. Body is perpendicular to the mat. Something that I started during Luke's ninth deployment was Bible time. Every Wednesday night, I did it with popcorn after, so it'd be something that the kids could look forward to. And I read them a Bible story from the children's Bible along with follow-up questions. Nothing fancy. But every other week, we would sing a hymn or praise and worship song. I would print them out for my older kids to read and also print them out for my younger kids who couldn't read. Same thing, other side. And now as a family, I'm gonna continue on. We do family Bible time every night, Monday through Friday. And at first, this wasn't something that Luke was consistent on or really that interested in. And if that's the case for you and it's something you wanna implement for your family, I encourage you to read 1 Peter chapter 3, verses one through two, because you can honor and respect your husband and with your contact, conduct, win him over. The Lord can use you in your home to start something beautiful in a way that you are discussing and pouring into your children God's good truth and word and planting seeds and being obedient to what he has called you to do. We are done. Now it's time to lengthen ladies on all fours right here. I'm going to take right arm and reach it under and the left arm comes out. Now the same arm that is reaching away from you, leg is going to come out to the side. Stretch those inner thighs. If you're confused at all here, the knee that is forward is the same arm that is reaching forward. And then your right arm and right leg are facing away from each other. And switch that out. Think bent knee, long arm. are done. Congratulations on this eight minute inner thigh workout. I hope that you really felt the burn. If you want to take a little extra time to get into that stretch further, I encourage you to do so, but also don't overstretch your inner thighs. I love you ladies and I'll see you next time. Bye.